Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Matt, and this is my wife Mackenzie, and we're realtors here in Northern Utah, and today we're focusing on helping military families find the perfect place to call home when they PCS here to Hill Air Force Base. That's right, Hill Air Force Base is one of the largest employers in Utah and has a huge impact on the communities around it. So if you're being stationed here or you're just curious about what to expect, you're in the right place. We're going to give you a quick history of Hill Air Force Base and break down the cities around it so you can decide where's the best place for you and your family to call home. Hill Air Force Base, located in northern Utah between Layton and Ogden, is a massive installation covering over 6,000 acres. It's the second largest Air Force Base by population and size, employing over 20,000 military personnel, civilians, and contractors. The base is a major center for aircraft maintenance, weapons system logistics, and depot operations, playing a crucial role in the U.S. Air Force's readiness. It's a busy and vibrant place with a lot of amenities on base, including a commissary, BX, fitness center, schools, medical clinics, and even recreational facilities like top-tier golf courses and parks. Hill Air Force Base is like a small city itself, providing a strong sense of community for military families. But while the base has a lot to offer, many families actually prefer to live off base in one of the surrounding cities. So let's dive into the nearby cities and compare what each has to offer. First up, we have Layton. Layton is one of the closest cities to Hill Air Force Base and the largest city in Davis County. It's got a great mix of shopping, dining, and entertainment options, including Layton Hill Mall and tons of restaurants and parks. It's a perfect option for those who want a lot of amenities close by and the schools here are highly rated and it's only about minutes away from the base. Layton is also known for its variety of housing options from affordable condos and townhomes to spacious single family homes. It's great for families looking for convenience and more of a suburban feel without being too far from the action. Next, we have Clearfield, and Clearfield is right next door to Hill Air Force Base, making it one of the most convenient options for those who want to be really close to work. It's a smaller city with a slightly lower cost of living compared to Layton, making it, you know, a popular choice for young families and first-time home buyers. Clearfield has a good mix of older homes and new developments, so really you can find something that fits your style and budget. It's also home to Steed Park and the South Davis Recreation and Aquatic Center, which are great for family fun. And then moving north, we have Syracuse. Syracuse is known for its family-friendly vibe, excellent schools, and a more of a suburban feel. You'll find a lot more newer homes here, often on larger lots, which is a great option if you're looking for more space for your family. It's about a 15 minute drive to the base, so you're close, but you also get a bit more of a, that quiet suburban lifestyle. Syracuse also has some great outdoor amenities like Antelope Island State Park and Jensen Park, which are both perfect for families who enjoy spending their time outside. There are also many trails throughout the city, making it easy to go out for a family walk or even a bike ride. Syracuse is growing quite fast as well with tons of new restaurants and shopping and even plans for a Costco in 2025. Let's talk about West Haven. West Haven is a growing community with a more rural and spacious feel compared to the other cities. It's about a 15 minute drive to the north gate of Hill Air Force Base and offers larger lots, newer homes, and a quieter atmosphere. If you're looking for more space, this could be a great option. West Haven also has a few parks and trails and is known for its more peaceful suburban feel. It's ideal for families who prefer a little more elbow room and not feel like your neighbors are all stacked right on top of you. But 
you are also only minutes away from downtown Ogden where you have all of the shopping and all of the restaurants, which is very convenient. Then there's South Weaver. South Weaver is a smaller, close-knit community with a beautiful mountain backdrop. It's about a 10 minute drive to the south gate of Hill Air Force Base, making it an attractive option for those who want to be close to work. It's known for its excellent schools, safe neighborhood, and a friendly community atmosphere. South Weber is perfect if you're looking for a small town feel with easy access to outdoor activities, including hiking and mountain biking due to being right at the mouth of Weber Canyon. Now, South Weber itself doesn't offer much in terms of shopping and eating, but it's sandwiched between Layton and South Ogden, making those things just minutes away. Next up is Clinton. Clinton is just west of Clearfield and offers, you know, affordable housing options, making it popular for military families. It's less than a 10 minute drive to the west gate of Hill Air Force Base and has great parks, splash pads, and a tight knit community feel. Clinton is a great option if you want a family friendly environment with good schools and it's known for being one of the most affordable cities in the area. Clinton is growing fast as well and has lots of nearby shopping and restaurants, making it very convenient for your day-to-day -day living. All right, moving north, there's Riverdale. Riverdale is known for its convenient shopping with major shopping area right off of I-15. It's about an eight minute drive to the north gate of Hill Air Force Base and offers a variety of home styles, including affordable single family homes and townhomes. Riverdale also has great parks and river trails, making it a nice spot if you enjoy outdoor activities without being too far from the conveniences of city life. Now, not only does Riverdale offer tons of shopping and eating options in the city itself, but it is just minutes away from Ogden and situated right next to the freeway, making access to more options very convenient. Lastly, let's touch on Ogden. It's a bit further north, but still just about 15 minute drive to the north gate of Hill Air Force Base. But it has a unique historic charm that sets it apart. Ogden offers more of this urban feel with a revitalized downtown area, art scene and easy access to outdoor activities like hiking, skiing, and mountain biking. Ogden is great if you're looking for something a little different with older homes full of character, lofts, and more of an eclectic neighborhood feel. It's a good fit for those who want a bit of a city life with easy access to mountains. Ogden does offer some of the most affordable homes compared to the other cities that we have mentioned. Ogden is the ninth largest city in the state of Utah and therefore offers a lot of healthcare options, entertainment, Weber State University, and even has an airport, though it is just a small regional airport. So as you can see, there are a variety of options around Hill Air Force Base, each with its own unique feel. So whether you know, you're looking for convenience, affordability, space, or a specific community vibe, there's a city here that can meet your needs. If you're coming to Hill Air Force Base, we'd love to help you find that perfect place to call home. Make sure to reach out to us with any questions by either sending us a text, giving us a call, or simply just sending us an email and we would love to answer any questions that you may have. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Okay, to summarize and compare each of these nine cities with one another, I've created this chart to show population, median household income, median home price, and how far away from one of the gates is it um, from Hill Air Force Base. Okay, so here, this is Davis County, so more of the Layton area and surrounding cities. Next, we have the Weber County, so more like Ogden and the surrounding cities. Okay, so you can see in Davis County, Layton is by far the largest city in Davis County um, with nearly 82,000 people within the city. 
Um, median household income is just shy of a hundred thousand dollars with the median home price. So this the median home price that we are looking at is for 2024 for single family homes. So this does not take into account townhomes or condos into this median home price. Um, and then this is uh, minutes to Hill Air Force Base. Okay, so there is a gate in Layton. There is a gate um, in Roy. Um, and actually there might be two gates in Roy. Okay, so South Gate, North Gate, and West Gate is how they're gonna be labeled. The South Gate is in Layton. So when it says 11 minutes to the South Gate, literally you can be one minute to the South Gate entrance, just depending on where in Layton um, you are coming from. Okay, so here you have South Weber that is just shy of 8,000 people. You see a higher median household income of $130,000. And, you know, coincidentally, you see a higher median home price of $567,000. Now, again, this does not take into consideration townhomes. So there are several townhomes located in South Weaver, making the area a lot more affordable if you're okay living in a townhome. And again, it's only about a 10 minute drive to the South Gate. Um, so, and then you have everything in between here in Davis County, between Clearfield, Syracuse, and Clinton. You can see how all these um, cities compare to one another. Clearfield giving you the lowest or most affordable median home price at $436,000 and still within that 10 minutes of the South Gate. So if you're looking for a more of an affordable option, Clearfield is a great choice, okay? Um, and then you have Syracuse and Clinton, which are kind of in between. Um, well, I guess Syracuse does have the highest median home price. Typically, I would say you do get more for your money out in, say, Syracuse and Clinton versus, say, Layton and South Weaver. Um, but again, it's all just going to depend. So here we have four Weaver County cities, so Ogden and the surrounding cities, um, with Roy, Riverdale, Ogden and West Haven. Okay, Ogden, of course, is going to be the largest of these four cities um, with 87,000 people. But you do see that median household income come way down at $65,000. And again, coincidentally, the median home price is going to be $375,000 here in Ogden. Again, you are 13 minutes from the North Gate. So again, Hill Air Force Base is huge. So it just kind of depends on where you will be working within Hill Air Force Base, on what gate you might want to take. Um, but Ogden, 13 minutes from the North Gate. So if you want a little, you know, so Ogden has, like we mentioned, older homes, a lot of older homes. Some have like no garages, just have a driveway, some don't even have that and you just park on the street. So really it just kind of depends on um, where you're looking within Ogden. I mean, there's some really, really like, multi-million dollar homes up on the east side of Ogden, like above Weber State University. Um, or if you're more downtown, you get that more affordable um, housing, but it is also typically older, okay? So, you can see the smallest of these four cities is going to be Riverdale, um, but it does have a $467,000 median home price. Again, Riverdale has a ton of amenities, um, a very high, pay, high higher paced place. Um, I would say it has, it's called Riverdale Road that where all the restaurants, there's a ton of car dealerships um, that are located right there. So I'd say Roy, you kind of got that, kind of that in between. You got 39,000 people there, $83,000 in median household, and only a $435,000 median home price. So again, getting a lot of home for your money in Roy without sacrificing maybe on build quality, age, and stuff like that. And again, you're only five minutes from that North Gate because that North Gate is located right there in Roy. So at the very bottom, you can see how these cities stack up against Salt Lake City. Okay, Salt Lake City, just shy of 200,000 people in Salt Lake City. So more than double, say, Ogden or even Layton. Okay, median household income is lower at the 72,900 mark, but if you're comparing median household income to the median home value, you see there's a, a lot bigger discrepancy with the median home price being $620,000 
in Salt Lake City. You are 31 minutes from the south gate in Layton of Hill Air Force Base. So, again, these nine cities that we talked about are a lot more affordable, closer to Hill Air Force Base than, say, Salt Lake City. But you don't get all of those amenities. But again, you're not that far from Salt Lake City either. Just, say, 30 minutes on average um, between these nine cities to Salt Lake. So, great options if you're moving to Hill Air Force Base and definitely something to consider um, when you are PCSing out here to Hill Air Force Base.